I'm here with Len again, HTT. How are you, Len? Good, mate. How mate, are you? what are we? We are in the uh, the special room, right? The HTT. We're in our little memorabilia room where I've collected some of the stuff that uh, we've had over the years, yeah. uh, which Brocky signed and some photos with Brock. So we're just going to show you a couple of them just to get the, uh, the enthusiasm going again for HTT cars. And so, so people can understand, you ran HTT for a long, long time yeah. uh, after Peter Brock uh, sold the business on, and then you bought the business and then on sold it in recent times, right? Yeah, two thousand and seven. But you were responsible for the HCT brand for how many years? I guess it would have been 20 odd. Over 25 years. So there wouldn't have been many HDT cars that you uh, haven't uh, seen, seen the register of or know about, right? Well, that's right. Like we've, People contact us from all over Australia. The cars used to come and go. But we've probably touched and known about just about every HCT car in Australia. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, yeah, my memory's still pretty good. So give us a ring if you want to know anything. What number can I get you on, Lou? 0411 819 643. 0411 819 643. Fantastic. And here at uh, at uh, Muscle Car Sales, we're at the old HCT site. We've got a few of them from time to time. We get some old VLs and VKs through the place. We sell them on behalf of people or we buy them ourselves. And uh, they can call you, make an appointment, come in and have a look. Yeah, yeah, look, if you're thinking about selling your car and you want to get a bit of a price or a gauge of what they're worth and how they're going these days, just give us a ring and uh, we'll see if we can help you out. doesn't and, matter what state you're in, we can help you. And general information regarding these H- HDT cars, you still have a register and a long sort of uh, history, encyclopedic, uh, almost uh, uh, trail of these things, right? Yeah, we do. Like, there's a lot of misinformation about these cars, how many they made and this had that and all that. We used to get that all the time, so... We want to set it straight. If you're thinking about buying one, you know a bit more about it, just give us a ring. Buy beware. Give Len a call. Exactly. We'll show you a bit around. <laughs> Let's the have a look around. around. And just give you a bit of a look at what we've All got. Right. And what have we got here, mate? What's this? This is the suit that they uh, used in the remake of the Verbi in 2015, uh, the Peter Brock suit, when he first started off in the A30. That's the suit they actually... From the movie itself. Well, they actually look quite um, quite agricultural and basic these days when you consider what racing car drivers are in this day and age. It's an actual replica of the suit. Yeah. So what's almost, it's almost like fire retardant. Uh, yeah, I think it's, you... it's cotton material, yeah. I'd say, so it doesn't think. It's still got the dirt on it and all that from the uh, A30 days. You used to get pretty dirty inside that car. There you go. And there's the old HDT, uh, the old lady style. Oh, Helmet man. with a with a visor, right? Last of the big bangers we've got over here. Yeah, some shots of what have we got there, mate. Some shots of the old Scafen. We've got Scafe at Sandown in the uh, 1948, the 1998 tribute car, which they raced there at the time. What's the story with the Big Banger, mate? That's the. Uh... These are the official last photos of the Big Banger in 1984 when it yeah. raced at Sandown, uh, and obviously it won at Bathurst, it won at Sandown, and uh, it won everything it was in at the time. I think yeah. it only lost one race at Service Paradise. Pretty much, uh, mm. pretty much real supreme in its day, didn't it? Yeah. A bit, of, a bit of memorabilia on the... Uh, and you met Peter Brock for several times, right? Apart from the HDT club, which you were involved oh, with yeah. here Peter, in New South Wales. I knew Peter from way back in the 70s and that when he was racing Tiranas and all that. So I uh, knew him for quite a lot of years. Yeah, and quite a decent bloke, right, from all accounts. He was a good guy. Uh, don't uh, believe everything you hear in the uh, media and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, we had a real good relationship between us and... Uh, like everyone makes mistakes, but I think they just blow it out of proportion a little bit. Oh, you know? look, we tend to remember the good times, mate. We tend to remember the entertainment and the times we uh, watched him on telly uh, exactly, do what he was doing exactly on the racetrack. Right. And I seen him uh, cross the line in '84, and they went one, two, so uh, yeah. and a lot of other races. So the rest of it, the rest of it, as they say, are details, right? That's just details, mate. He was the man, and I think he still is. Len, thanks very much for your time today, mate. So we'll um, let people know where they can contact you. I'll put a little bit of a, a blurb on this uh, video on YouTube. And if they need to, they can always call you regarding HCTK. For sure, anytime. Terrific. Have a great day, folks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.